Yeah, uh, that confrontation happened, Wendy, right here in this section of Butler Street. It's an area where there is no bike lane. And police say, thanks to photographs and videos like the video you're about to see, they have been able to identify the suspect, and they say that suspect will be charged. This is video of the suspect seconds after the confrontation on Butler Street. He is clearly still upset as the bicyclist sits on the curb with her bike on top of her. Witnesses say the man had just pushed her over. When he was flailing, flailing his arms and uh, you know, shouting at us. Chris Sprawl says just before, the man was driving behind him and his girlfriend Molly, who were pedaling home on Butler Street. Sprawl says the man was beeping his horn at them for nearly two blocks when he pulled over and became violent. At this point, he's in the middle of the street trying to chase after us, and he pushes Molly to the ground. Her arm was scraped and bleeding, and the driver left. This, many say, was frustration that went too far, but it is something city cyclists say they fear. Pittsburgh has pretty narrow roads, so it's, it sometimes gets people angry if, you know, some, you know, people don't want to share all the time. Jonathan Fabier bikes everywhere he goes. I've been honked at, and it's shocked me to the point where I fell off my bike. But for drivers, bikes in traffic, which are becoming common, are a tough adjustment. I feel frustrated as a driver. Also, I don't know whether to pass them. I feel like I'm going to hit them. For the couple confronted by this upset driver, sharing the road is about tolerance and working together, since there is really no other acceptable choice. It's just, just unnecessary. So far, police have not publicly named the man in that video, but they say that man will be charged with harassment and physical contact. Reporting live, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Mar